in psychology, there's a concept called a parallel process. And what that means is something going on for a guest that's happening in uh, an environment where they're in a clinical setting or a wellness resort setting. What's happening for a person going through that is parallel to the process that they're experiencing on the outside in their life. So let's say somebody is here at Rhythmia and they say they feel like, oh, I'm not being heard or I'm not being paid attention to or I'm I'm being neglected or you know, I don't I don't feel something like that. Well, as we intervene and discuss that feeling with the guest, because every single person here is evaluated and spoken to and counseled and talked to and given opportunities to kind of express how they're experiencing the program. We see that that's a theme for them on the outside, that they feel that they don't have a voice in their marriage, or they feel like that nobody listens to them at work, or they feel like they don't, they're not empowered to make changes in their life. So we have a, a process that we work with each guest that needs it, that we, we have counselors and we have holistic treatment protocols that are being, being explained to the guests while they're here. And one of the big sort of interventions we do with the guests is we ask them, when was the first time they felt that way? Like, how old were they when they felt that they weren't being heard? And they'll, say, they'll often say, like, whoa, I was a little kid and, you know, my parents got divorced and, you know, I all of a sudden I had these step, these step siblings and they're a lot older than me and I just got brushed under the rug. It's like, oh, okay, so you have some experience in not being heard or feel like you don't have a voice. Okay, so uh, how is that making you feel currently? Well, I still feel the same. I feel frustrated. I feel upset. I feel angry. Ah, okay. Um, is this a theme in your life? Is this something that's happening currently at, in other areas, like not just from when you were a little kid? So yeah, I, I sense it at work. I sense it in my marriage. I sense it in my in everything I deal with with my with my current siblings and my you know. It's just it's just what's happening for me. It's like I'm not being heard. I don't have a voice. Okay. So who has that made you become? Who are who are you now as a result of that? Well, I'm very shy. I don't take any risks. I know what I should do, but I just don't have the, the courage to do it. I, I hold back a lot. Oh, okay, that's who you've become. You've become somebody that is scared of life and you're reserved and you're actually not a shy person. You weren't shy here at all. You talked and you were out you know, having a fun experience, but you've learned through this that now you're, you're processing what you came here to do. And that's the protocol that we work with on guests about how to spin what they're experiencing here as a parallel process into the intentions that we're working on. So we have an actual way that we address every guest and the counseling that, that Ben gives us and the other counselors give us is, is focused on this sort of protocol.